It is time to play a game of deception called True Confessions. <laughs> My first opponent tonight is the host of Late Night with Seth Meyers. Please welcome Seth Meyers! Ooh, the silk. What's that? I, uh, wow. I came in. That silk. I came in for rehearsal. You really? Earlier. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seth Myers and Seth and I will be facing off against a very talented actress. Her new show, Kevin Can F Himself, airs Sundays at 9 p.m. on AMC. Give it up for Annie Murphy. <laughs> Here's how this works. In front of us are two envelopes containing confessions. One is true, the other is a lie. Once you read your confession, the other two players get to interrogate you. Then they have to, you have to, come, up, they have to come up with a unanimous decision. Is it the truth or a lie? Mm. Seth, you will go first. Okay. What envelope should he open? One or two? What do you guys think? Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Unanimous two. They all said two, you know. Two. I quit Pop Warner football. Because we had to strip to our underwear, and I wasn't wearing any. <laughs> you quit pop wearing for because this is, uh, you're very athletic. Uh, so I would say I, I would say you did play pop. What did you play any other sports? Yeah, I played baseball. Sure, we have ran a little track. Uh, I have a, I have a question. Sure. Why were you not wearing any underwear? I was in a rush to get to Pop Warner football. Why were you in a rush? Yeah, why were you in a rush that day? I was excited. How I was excited always... and worried. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is about football. I know, yeah, of course it is, yeah. You were excited, you go, I can't wait, I'm going to Pop Warner football. Yeah. And you go there and they go, hey, we got to strip down so we can get sized up. Yeah, they're like, we need to figure out what size you guys are for your pads. And Pop, and Pop Warner, is your teenage, no. Younger. Younger than that. Twelve. Twelve. Wow. Yeah. Would you ever leave the house with no underwear? I mean, I would say one out of every five days I would. <laughs> what were you wearing? Jeans. Wow. Jeans, no undies. Mm-hmm. Ouch. Yeah. That's rough stuff there. This is very interesting because I feel like you're, you're so tricky that you would make me believe this whole thing about football because I know you like sports. Yeah. So that would have me steer off and believe whatever story about sports. If, if I was lying, that's exactly what I'd do. I mean, I don't know you at all. Right. So this is... So this could go either way. This yeah, could you, go either way. This yeah. is difficult. I think... Uh, I'm going to say it's true. Are you going to say it? you agree with me? That he didn't have any... I think underwear? you're lying. Wait, you think he's lying? I think he's lying. Oh, I'm going to stick with Annie then. Oh! Well, we have to be unanimous. Oh, we have to be unanimous? Yeah, yeah. There oh, we go. well, no. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Man. We think you're lying. Well, you're lucky Annie's here because it's a lie. Ah! <laughs> you saved me. You saved me. Do you want to? Yes. <laughs> it happened to my brother. <laughs> Okay. You threw your brother He's fine. Okay. He but left. Yes. And then I was also there and had to play a whole year <laughs> of Pop Warner football. All right. All right. It's my turn. Uh, which one should I open? One or two? What do you think? One. How come two for Seth and I, I get one? Uh, all right. Here we go. Ready for this, bud? When I was a kid, I dreamt of being a professional wrestler called the Priest. I think wrestlers are known for having trademark moves. What was the priest's Ooh. trademark move? I had two trademark moves. Uh, one was I would, uh, I would uh, put you in a grapple hold uh, in uh, submission uh, until you confessed to sin. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and so that, then I would know, like, sins. If I, it was a good storyline, you know? Sure. Because I'm a big fan of uh, yeah, WWE, WWF at the time. My other move was if I body slammed you, uh, and then I would pull out holy water and uh, bring you back to the, I bring you back to life. The priest. Both very good. Uh, what did you wear? 
Uh, here's, well, I made it out of cardboard, like out of like poster board, like the little, the priest, uh, the, the collar, thing, the yeah. collar, but I didn't actually have a full on uniform, but if I did, it would be that and a robe, but then when I got in the ring, I would take the robe off and I would have just the collar and maybe two little things, almost like a little Chippendales down there. Right. <laughs> Play out music? Mm. Uh, I was thinking cathedral organ. <laughs> <laughs> like full on church lady. Yeah. Like, yeah, and huh. people would go down and say, the priest is here. And I would come out with, this, uh, with incense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doing the thing, uh, and I, I think if people would be totally into it, uh, the priest. Was this something you shared with your friends? I assume you watched wrestling with friends your age. Is this, uh, did they know at the time that you wanted to be the priest? I didn't think, no. They didn't really know at the time, but I was just so, everyone was really into it. I mean, this was- Was everyone the, really into it? This was the- <laughs> Yeah, but no, I wouldn't wrestle kids. I would wrestle dolls and stuff. But I would say I was into like, yeah, I do moves. On, I do moves on like my sister's cabbage patch and stuff. Yeah, yeah. but that was my dream. I was going to be a professional wrestler, uh, and but I couldn't. Uh, I'm too skinny. Annie and I have decided. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not we, done, we decided. I'm not done explaining. Five minutes ago. I'm not done explaining. I think we're done listening, <laughs> no, Jimmy. No, 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 no. When I was a kid, I dreamt of being a wrestler, called the priest. Uh huh. Yeah. We um we're of the shared opinion, Jimmy. That's a lie. It is a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. I got it. I got it. I thought maybe I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I, I don't know if you knew. I did actually at one point want to be a priest. Right. So I thought maybe a little curveball on that <laughs> truth might have gotten your head a little bit. You, know you were going to be a priest and dressed the same way you described the rest. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's a Chippendales. Yeah, exactly. And that's when they sent you entrance. right home. Same entrance. <laughs> they sent you right home from same seminary. Same entrance, exactly, yes. Uh, uh, Annie, it's your turn to go. Gosh, this is interesting. All right. Uh, one or two, what do you say? That's a mixed bag. I'm hearing boo instead of two, so I'm gonna do one. Right. <laughs> you hearing boos? All right, here we go. <laughs> Just straight up boos. Oh, this is good. This is good. <clears throat> okay. Um, I once licked Chris Martin's sweat off my own hand. Well, at a concert? You're at a concert? Yeah. I was at a concert. So if that's true, that makes, that makes all three of us. <laughs> We've all done it. Uh, yeah, get. Get, get in, in line. line. <laughs> uh, all right, so when you were at a concert, were you in, like, you had good seats, I'm assuming? Great. All access. Hmm. All access. Uh -huh. I don't want to brag, but all access. So is this, is this post-celebrity for you? This is pre-celebrity. Pre-celebrity, yes, good Yes, like 10 years ago. Okay. Like Coldplay fan. Well, yeah. Well, just throw some songs out. What do you like? Fix You. Yeah, sure, of course. The one that goes, whoa. Um, uh, the scientist. Scientist? Okay. Scientist, yeah. Uh, yellow. Hello? Wow. Deep cuts. Court and Spark. <laughs> Court and Spark. These are, you're this just is, making up uh, words at this point. Uh, and how did you end up touching Chris Martin? He, uh, I was actually about three rows deep. Wow. And, and you still made it to the stage. I, well, it was the lurch. It was like the, the... I love the, that you're coming down like you're taller than Chris Martin. <laughs> when he's on stage, you would be lurking he wasn't, up. He was not on stage. Ooh. A twist. Oh, your honor. A twist in the case. He was doing uh, crowd work? He was doing... <laughs> I don't know if you call it crowd work. I think you do call it crowd work. <laughs> no, I did comedians. No, he was maybe. doing his stand-up set. <laughs> <laughs> he was just crowd work. trying some new material out. Yeah. So he's doing crowd work. He's yeah. in there. He's going, Montreal, I love you guys. You guys are the best. Yeah. Uh, and then he makes eye contact with you? No. Nope. No. Wow. But you were trying to force it. Yes. And you were moving your eyes like, hey, look, make eye contact with me. Indeed, yeah. And grabbed him, and, what, and he pulled away, and then you had his sweat in your hand. And what your immediate reaction was to lick it off? Yes. Gotcha. So you were worried something would happen. Security would run over and wipe the sweat off. <laughs> yes, before I was able yeah, to. Yeah, so you're like, I've got to get this in the mouth. Who are you, you with? Uh, a bunch of my friends. And did they all freak that you touched his hand? They looked at me with pride and disgust. Yeah, and disgust after the lick or pre-lick? After the lick. 
Well, I thought they were discussing me that how dare you lurch. Let's. It was pre and post lick. Wow. Was there an awkwardness after the fact that you hadn't saved any licks for them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That might be why we don't speak anymore. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, I think this is a real licking. I think this is a real... I'm picturing it the way Winnie the Pooh goes at honey. <laughs> yeah. After he pulls it from the jar. Just, just like, a, yeah. Like, that was so I'm, awesome. I'm with you, I think this is a real thing. I wish, were you on the Jumbotron? No, I wish, no. <laughs> you wish that you were? <laughs> Whoa, you slipped! Wait, is it... <laughs> Busted! It did happen? It did happen. Yes! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about there! That was a confession right there. Really You're like, good I wish work. it was on Jumbotron <laughs> because that he's really you love Coldplay. Yeah. Who who didn't? Who doesn't? But it was something that was I didn't plan it. It was just a voice in my head that was like, you need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and just and do I it. did it. And it wasn't, you know, I love Coldplay as much as the rest of yeah. us. No, I'm you like them a, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit more. <laughs> I love that as true art. Thank you guys for playing. This. I'm very good at this. Seth Myers, Annie Murphy.